Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance. We're going to tie a uh, version of a Royal Coachman. This fly is targeting steelhead cutthroat, sea run cutthroat actually, and half pounders. We've got a hook in here. It's a TMC 7999, number 8. I'm going to start out by tying a little tag of tinsel in here. We've got red thread, flat silver, now you notice I'm tying a little forward on the hook because I'm going to tie this in a uh, low water version. I want this fly to be fairly small and fairly sparse. Next I have golden pheasant tippet dyed red. I've already prepped the feather. I'm going to take this here, grab it, cut that, tie it in. Perfect. Okay. Next, we're going to tie in some peacock curl. I use about half a dozen strands of this because I'm going to make a chenille out of it. You might be asking why we're doing such an old, old pattern. This pattern is still very, very fishable today as it was years and years ago. I catch a lot of half pounders and sea runs on it. Um, so I've got my peacock curl in there. I'm going to create a loop. And that's going to be the core of this chenille. I'm going to bring it around one time. I'm going to try to keep that tail positioned there. Grab my fancy hackle pliers here. Spin this material to reinforce it. Now this, why do I do this is because the sea run cutthroats and the half pounders both have horrible little teeth on them. And they will tear up a fly pretty quickly. I'm just going to tie this material up underneath so that um, I can keep the symmetry of the body. Now I'm going to take some brassy ultra wire in red. Normally you would use floss on this, but I'm trying to add a little bit of weight to get this down because I fish these on a dry line. Um, and this gives a little more sheen to the fly, a little more weight and it uh, is a little stronger. Okay, next, a little more peacock curl. takes about three wraps to make that little ball. And again, I'm just trimming this flush like that, tying that in, creating my loop. Grabbing all this material, bring it around one time. Hackle pliers. And then we're going to need a nice little brown hen hackle. I mean, you'd use a hackle of your choice that you would normally use on steelhead flies. I like to tie mine in reverse, so I'm pulling this material back, tying this in like this. Hackle's cupped towards the body. I'm going to pull this material up and away so I can make a collar style. Don't get too carried away with the hackle. Um, I have a real propensity for adding way too much hackle on some of these wet flies and you're trying to get them down and just add a little bit of 
action there. Next, we're going to tie in some Arctic foxtail in white. I want to do this fairly sparse little wing. I'm going to trim this up as close as I can get it. And then I'm going to rely on my cautery tool to clean it up and finish the job. Okay, little whip finish on her. And then the head cement we use, I've started using recently, is this uh, Clear Goo Hydro. And I don't know if anybody's used this for head cement, but uh, give it a go. It is. Uh, incredible stuff. You can have it with a brush and the brush is okay but I, it's thin enough, it's a, it's a watery consistency much like head cement. So I just take this and apply it to the thread. Now you'll see how red this thread is. It is going to get a little bit darker. I'm going to put a quick coat on here and this does penetrate the thread. And then I'm going to hit it with a light. This is a UV light made by Clear Goo. Now that's cured. It's rock hard. So next, I'm going to put just one more little thin coat on it. And then this fly, you could fish it. There's no waiting for drying or messing around with multiple coats of head cement, which just drives me crazy coming in every hour or so recoating fly heads trying to get that glossy finish this takes care of all of that okay so I've got that coating out this stuff will run a little bit so you want to turn it a little bit to get it evenly and then hit it with the light look at how that white stands out with UV light Okay, that's it.